Okay, so we're here with Fred. Hi everyone and welcome to Sonic State. Excellent, and uh, we're at Super Booth. Fred, you've brought your Manatee again. Yes, and this is actually the final version. So if you have been following the channel and the information on the internet, you know this project has been on development for more than three years now. And I'm very glad to bring to Superbooth the final version that the people who contributed on Kickstarter will receive in a couple of weeks. Excellent. So I will make a tour of the machine. Uh, for those who don't know about it, it's a synthesizer for sure, but with four parts and 16 voices. So basically, you have always your four parts available. They are exactly the same, so you can load different presets on each part and benefits of all the features on each part. So it's like having four different synthesizers and right. the voices are spread around. So what do you get with this machine? Basically, you get two envelopes, and the envelopes are quite special, uh, meaning that they share the three different control, attack, sustain, release, and they have separate decay. It's not a problem because you can always uh, decide if you want, for example, the attack of your envelope to apply on the filter or to the amplifier. So basically, you're masking stages of your envelope. Then you have two sources. So the two sources are based on, the first one is like a spectrum generator, meaning that you have a reference spectrum you can choose, or you edit your own spectrum with the, with the spectrum editor. So meaning you can actually decide which harmonic are part of your timbre. So this is a bit like an organ. After this, you can decide which waveform is used to reconstruct your uh, sound. And you have a couple of tools which change how the harmonics are laid out in the spectrum. And all, all of this can be modulated. Great. To complement this oscillator, which is very specific, we're going to listen to it. We have a sub oscillator. This one is more like classic with the basic waveform, but each waveform has a twist. So for example, if you go for the sawtooth, you have super saw. If you go for a square, it's like super square. Uh, but for a sinus and triangle, you have FM options to get kind of two operator FM. Great. Uh, after this, you have like a classic uh, multi-mode filter, uh, distortion overdrive section with uh, various uh, modes and curves. You also get a bit crusher. And for each part, you have like uh, a delay, which can be set on different model. You can also use it as a, a comb filter or as a resonator. Oh, nice. Two equalizer per part, and you have a big range of uh, function like high shelf, high cut, low boost, low shelf, and you also have notch so that you can actually tailor the sound of the parts so that they work together. And on the top, you get this mixing section where you can say, okay, my, my currently running part, I want to send it to the main bus or to the auxiliary bus because there are two stereo uh, buses. The secondary bus has also a uh, possibility to do a return. So if you use a TRS cable, you can attach it to an external effect and basically mix in your effect and then the return goes mixed with the main uh, signal. So Great. And you can also decide in the system, no, I want to use this as four separate mono output and then use it as separate part output to mix it later. Excellent. Let's hear how it sounds. Yeah, let's see how that it sounds. Let's very start with the pad.
Lovely effect sounds. Can Who programmed forward. all of the uh, the presets and how many presets does it store? So for now, we are working on the factory presets, not finished. Uh, there will be 64 uh, base presets, but then you have five banks of uh, user slots where you can replace, and there will be more presets also predefined there, but people can actually change them or load some packs. So. Sounds really rich. Yes, very uh, a lot of depth to the sound. And what kind of um, inputs and outputs does it have on the other side? So what in terms of you connectivity, you have like basic power, MIDI trio, meaning in, out, and through. You have a clock input for another clock. This is cool if you want to synchronize with drum kits or other gear or even Eurorack. And then it's only audio out. So two buses, stereos, plus a headphone jack. Great. Yeah. And um, you said this is going out, first of all, to the uh, supporters? So, first of all, the people who backed the Kickstarter will get their unit. This happened in a couple of weeks. Now you can actually pre-order the machine on the website with a preferential price uh, before it goes to store. And then, when everybody has been delivered, the machine will, get, will hit the stores. So. Excellent. Yes. Well, you've worked really hard on this, Fred, and it sounds brilliant. Thank, Thank you, you very so much, much for showing it to us today. Yeah. Have a good Synfest. Oh, super booth. <laughs>